Today we take our text, our Devo, if you will, from 2 Samuel chapter 7 and 1 Chronicles chapter 17, where in Chronicles it's repeated again. But it's the story of David and a new prophet who's on the scene, Nathan. Samuel's passed away. And Nathan is involved now in David's life, and David is reflecting. He's contemplative this day, and listen to what he says in 1 Samuel chapter 7. The king says to Nathan, the prophet, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God, it dwells inside a tent with curtains. And Nathan said to the king, go do it, all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. In other words, David wants to build a temple, a house for the Lord. And so that night, God speaks to Nathan, the prophet, and he tells him he was a little ahead of himself that David's not going to be the one who, well, who builds the temple, that it's actually going to be David's son, Solomon. And so he goes back and he tells David that you're not going to build it. God's not going to let you build it. And David gets some instructions of what he can do. So what he can do is he can subdue all his enemies and God will help him and David will establish the kingdom like no other king before. The other thing is he can have his son build this house for God, this temple, and he gets a promise that, well, his family, his lineage will rule and reign forever upon that throne. It's, well, they're talking about the one day Messiah will come, Jesus will return and rule and reign of the lineage of David. And there's something I think interesting about this passage, this story that we need to think about. Here's David, he's successful, God's blessed him, God's used him, he's, he wants to build a temple, it's a good thing. He wants to do something special for God, but God says no. And so the question is, what do you do when you feel like, man, I, I want to do something for God. I want to serve him. I, I want to build this for him. And God says, you know what? I don't want you to do that. H how, do you, how do you respond when God says no? I guess that's the question. Well, I, I think David responded well, but there's a, there's a New Testament principle, say Romans 8, 28, that says, you know, God works all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So the question that rises up in Chronicles here and in 1 Samuel chapter 7 is, what do you do when you want to do something good and God says no? Well, you trust his sovereignty and you realize that he works all things together for the good. That's part of our story. That's part of David's story, really part of all of our story that we look at here in Samuel and Chronicles today.